to another video here. It's been a while since I've talked to you guys. Um, I know I mentioned it in my last video that I wouldn't be making videos as frequently. Um, but I figured, you know, let me just try and knock one out real quickly just to kind of check in with you guys here. Um, so I'm going to try and make this video as quick as possible here. Uh, it was a small profit here, a little $720 profit on Netflix. And let's just jump right into this guy here. So initially in the morning, I was watching him around this 290 area. That's also what I threw out into the chat room. I was early, early in the morning too, because I had an early morning today. I had a lot to do. I wasn't even home when I placed this trade. I did it all from my phone. Um, so I was basically saying Netflix, keep an eye on that 290 area. And that's initially what I was watching. Let me get rid of this line there. There we go. Um, was to see like, you know, how it treated the 290 area. See if we couldn't hold above it. I wanted to kind of basically get some puts down to the 287.50 area was kind of my plan on it. Um, now, unfortunately, and it also probably has to do with the fact that I was, you know, not home, not in front of my computer, not saying that you need to be, you know, in front of your computer all the time, but also probably because of the fact that I was out doing a bunch of other things and I was, you know, like half my attention was there, half of it wasn't, if that makes sense. So I missed the trade. I completely missed the trade. It just completely dropped through the 290 area. And I was obviously, you know, you guys know me, I'm very disciplined at this point. Um, I didn't want to get into the trade unless we got to pop back up to the 290 area because I don't want to chase it all the way down here, 288.22. I mean, that's that's more than half of the trade was already done. So I'm like, um, it, it just happened way too fast for me. And sometimes that happens. And when it happens, you just got to let it go. Like that one Disney song says, let it go. You know, you just let it go. You know? <laughs> Anyways, so I was waiting for a pop back to the 290 and... Again, maybe maybe this is a bad thing about me too. I'm too disciplined sometimes because I'm saying, all right, all right, no, I need it closer, closer to the 290, closer to, and it, it just didn't give it to me. So I completely missed the whole trade and it got to the point right here where I would have taken my profit on it. This would have been the area that I would have taken my profit, locked it in and been done with it. So I said, okay, let me try and flip the script a little here. So normally I wouldn't do this. Normally if I just missed a trade, I just let it go. Completely be done with it. I'm not going to chase it. Nothing. Just let it go. But I wanted to kind of, you know, flip the script a little bit. And I said, okay, I, mean, I was expecting it to stop around the 287.50 area. So let me see if we can maybe get a little bit of a reversal down there. After this first candle kind of went down, the second one started giving us a little bit of an, a reversal indicator. That's where I got in the trade, but I got in it light size. This trade was a light size trade. And I know, uh, you know, that might sound kind of odd for those of you that have been following me for a while because of the fact that. Um, well, for, let me just, a uh, basic explanation. The last few months, my, I'd say my smallest profit was probably around like $800. So this was like one of my smaller profits. This was light size for me. If you've been following me for a while, you know, this used to be like my normal size. Um, but lately, like I've been trying to get all my profits to above the thousand dollar mark, uh, things like that, trying to play with my risk to reward and strategies like that a little bit. Um, just slowly increasing your size. That's the way you, at least that's the way I do it. I find it best to slowly increase. You know, when I first started trading, I wasn't making $700. I was making like $70, you know, first that slowly go up, slowly go up, you know, on average, I kind of got a little, you know, stagnant around like a $500 profit on each trade each day. Um, and then like the last few, I'd say the last year, I'd been trying to slowly but surely increase that, increase that, increase that. Uh, and, and that's just how it goes. And also because of the fact that I stopped teaching my uh, the live mentorship courses, that was another reason why I was so stagnant at like a $500 to a $1,000 profit is because consistency is key. And especially when you're trying to teach other people, you really want to make sure you stay on top of everything. So I was really like, you know, very strict and it was doing well. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but at the same time, you know, I want to grow a little bit too. So I, I haven't been teaching the live courses for a while. Um, so I've also been able to kind of like work on my strategies a little as well, uh, you know, kind of increase my size and whatnot. So that's just what's been going on. That's why I say this is a small profit, but I got into the trade light size. I was only in it 12 contracts which, you know, back in the day, 10 to 10 to 15 used to be my max. Now I'm usually around like trying to be around, you know, 18 to 25 ish. Uh, obviously, it depends on the kind of stock that we're trading and how much the contracts are. Uh, but that's besides the fact. So because of the fact that I missed my initial trade and I'm flipping the script, few things that I usually shouldn't do. 
Um, I, I went in it light size, about half the size that I normally would. So the trade cost only about $5,000, uh, maybe $6,000. Uh, we'll do the calculations here in a second. Uh, I mean, we'll just do it right now. How about that? So obviously I got into the trade. Let me do this little basic explanation in case there is anybody that's new to trading and new to options. Uh, you, you guys know me. I like to do the quick explanation of how much it costs. So I had 12 contracts at 430 each. The way options works, one is equivalent to 100, so one would be 430. So I had 12 of them. 12 times 430 is 5,160. So this trade cost about 5,160. Doesn't mean that if I was wrong, I was going to lose 5,160. It's like if you go buy a used car for $5,000 thinking you can sell it for seven, and you find out, oh, something's wrong with it, or it needs new tires, or, you know, it's, it's just not as great as I thought it was. You can always sell that car for 4,000. Take a loss. You get what I'm trying to say? 4,500. Take a loss. You're not going to just, if, if you got the car and you realize, oh, it's not what I thought it was, what are you just going to go send it to the dump? No, it's not how life works, you know? Um, I mean, some people might do that. It all depends on your decision making. But anyways, that's besides the fact. Don't want to make this too long of a video. Of a video. Going to try and keep it under 10 minutes here. So $5,160 is what it cost. And then it was a quick scalp of a trade. Like I said, guys, I, I flipped the script. I just wanted to take a little profit, a little something, something, so I can feel like I was involved. Uh, so four minutes later, literally literally within four minutes, we turned it into 720 And it was actually like an $850 profit, but I wanted to put the order a little lower and kind of, I also hesitated a little bit. Um, but I was like, all right, you know what? Close it out. We're done. We're out here. We're on the phone. You got things to do. Let's just go. Um, so that's that. So just to kind of finish up the math here, 5,160 is what it costs. So if you have $5,000, you could have done this trade too. You don't have to have a ton of money to trade, you know, stocks. And these are real stocks. This is Netflix. This isn't some random penny stock, you know? So we sold it four minutes later for 490. So 490 times 12 is 5,880. Subtract the cost of the trade, which is 5,160 from that. And that's how you get 720. Or you could also do the difference in saying, okay, 430 to 490, that's 60. 60 times 12 is 120 or 720. So various different ways you can calculate it, but just wanted to kind of show you guys how we made this trade. Basically $5,000 made a $720 profit in about four minutes here. Um, now let's kind of talk about it on the chart here. So I got in right here at the 637, which is right here, this candle here. Now, remember, my main idea was I wanted to get short. I wanted to get puts at the 290, but I missed it. So my idea was also that I wasn't expecting it to go all the way back up to the 290 either. So I was thinking, all right, maybe we'll go to 289 to 289.50. That was my plan for the trade. And then also, if we went below, we broke lows and we're going to break the, the 287, I would have gotten out of the trade, taken a small loss, and that would have been it. So I took the profit here. Literally within four minutes, you know, we reversed right there and went up there. I took the profit right before, right around the 289 area. And that's where I said I hesitated for a second because I was like, ah, well, you know, we're at like an 850 profit here. Let me, you know, I want the thousand dollar profit that I usually try getting. You guys know, well, if you, if you're a trader, you kind of know how it goes. Um, if you're not really trading, you're just watching this to like a starting point, then you might not be familiar with that. Um, but that's kind of like why I hesitated a little. And I was like, well, maybe well, let's just get it to the 289.50. But at the same time, I was like, you know what? You missed the trade already in the morning because of your, your little hesitation and you want to get it a little bit closer. And I said, just get rid of it. Get done with it. Be out of it. You got your profit. Don't be greedy. And that was that. So I took the trade. I took the profit right there at the 641, right? Literally like 10, five to 10 cents below the 289 area. And that was it, guys. You know, four minutes, $720 profit. Now, obviously it did go higher, but then it also went lower. So we don't, this is why I say, don't worry about about what coulda, shoulda, woulda, all that after the fact. Take your trade, take your profit, and be done with it. Move on with your day. And as you guys see, that was the only trade that I placed. I didn't go in and place another bunch of different trades. And this is nothing new. Go look at all my older videos. You guys don't see me usually getting into like 10 different trades at a time, things like that. You know, I'm very, you know, uh, like disciplined and consistent with it. Uh, and that, that's pretty much that. So $720 profit there. Um, and again, guys, I mean, if we really want to look into it and see... I had the 287.5 call, so we were right here. Let me just show you guys what it could have been, obviously, if I held it all the way to the top. So I sold it at 490. It would have been worth $6. I was in, like, right around here. 
right here at the 430. I sold it right here at the 490. If I held it all the way up here, it would have been $6. That would have been an additional $1,300 profit. So it could have been a $2,000 profit if I was holding it to the highs. But obviously, you know, we don't worry about that kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's your profit is your profit. You had your plan. You stuck to it. Done deal. You move on with it. And that's pretty much that. So we're going to wrap it up here. I went a little bit over my time, a little over the 10 minute mark, but it's okay. Um, like I said, I haven't talked to you guys for a while. Um, now this doesn't mean I'm going to get back to making YouTube videos all the time and whatnot. I might try slowly easing back to it, but the main reason I actually wanted to make this one was one, because I haven't made one in a while. And two, I want to stop posting my screenshots on my Instagram again. Uh, I go in waves between posting them and not posting them. It's just so convenient. Just take a screenshot and post it rather than making a video and whatnot. Um, so, but yeah, my thing is I want to stop posting them, but at the same time, you know, I just want to kind of something to kind of update you guys that you guys know I'm still here. And, and an issue with me when I post my screenshots to Instagram is that when I decide to stop or take a break, and the reason I try to stop is because people always like send messages like, all right, dude, we get it. You're making money, blah, blah, blah. And I, I mainly post it to kind of show other people what's possible, motivate them, inspire them to kind of do a little more with their time. Um, but then again, I know I annoy other people and I'm not trying to make it seem like I'm trying to flex on everybody all the time and whatnot. So I kind of want to cut that down on that end. Um... And that, that, that's really mainly my main reason why I'm just not trying to make it seem like I'm always just trying to show this off and show that off. Uh, but unfortunately, when I go to the waves of trying to stop posting them, everybody all of a sudden thinks that I'm losing my money. Oh, no, he's losing everything. All of a sudden, oh, I didn't post today. I didn't post yesterday. I'm not losing my money. Yesterday, I didn't even trade because of the fact that it was Monday and I was a little hesitant on what was going on with the week. Um, everything from the watch list literally worked out like perfectly almost. But that's besides the fact, um, you know, here, two, three days back. Even four days, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. But anyways, that's the fact. So posting this here, just a little update for you guys. Doesn't mean I'm going to be make, make, making them as often, but I'll try and throw in maybe one every month here and there. So, you know, you guys know the deal. So anyways, if you guys do want to join the watch list, since I did mention that, or join the chat room, or if you guys do want to learn how to trade and take the course that will literally like instill all the information to you guys, uh, click the link in this description. I'll go ahead and put the link to the website in this in the description. And as usual, you guys know the deal. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and everything like that. Who's Bijanti? And I also made a new YouTube channel for making like you know more personal stuff. Uh, go check that out as well and subscribe to it if you could be so kind. It's YouTube.com/slash Who's Bijanti. I'll put that in this in the description as well. But now I'm starting to ramble, my friends. So we're gonna cut it here. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day or maybe it's nighttime for wherever you're at. So just have a great rest of your life, my friends. I will talk to you soon.